Welcome to the Product Business Podcast. This is your number one podcast for the tips, actions, and insights to make more money from your products while enjoying your life. I'm your host, Amy Wenslow. Let's dive right in. Hello, everyone. I am here to confess something to you. And I know that the title of this episode is Fan the Flame of Your Goal. And it came out of a conversation with a friend of mine today when we were talking, we were doing our daily um, clearing. And I was realizing that I was feeling, you know, kind of confused. And I had this thought about confusion is an excuse. And so this is a love note to myself and to you. When you're swinging out for newness, things come up. Fear can come up. And, you know, as many of you know, we just launched my first ever book, Turn Products into Profits. And you, I'm happy to have you go get a copy of it. And this idea of, wow, we are swinging out and doing all kinds of new things, new energy into the podcast. A book is out. Our mastermind group is going fabulously and we have really good projects in it and you know I have had on my list for about 10 days now to announce that the application process for the mastermind group is open and we're expanding it adding a few new people in etc and we're taking applications and it's always really been an application process but I've never really publicly put it out there that way and there is a part of me that you know has a couple different faces of fear coming up right there's confusion there's overwhelm and it's kind of like there's this personal elusive Loch Ness monster a fear that I think it is there but it, we don't even know if it exists right that's how fear operates with us and that's how we keep ourselves safe when we're trying something new. And, and it's the way that our neurology as human beings is set up to keep us safe. The tragic part of it is it's also the way that we keep ourselves small. And all of those are excuses invented by me to keep me safe and invented by you to keep you safe. And the tragic part is that it also is the pattern that will keep any human being stuck in what if, what if I do this, what if I do that? And you can almost operate like you expect the foot to drop, the shoe to drop, to be squished. And, you know, it, it can be debilitating or you can decide to go on and do a podcast and out yourself about that that's going on. So that's what this is. And this is my public declaration that to help you to model what it looks like and how it can sound, my commitment and my promise to all of you is that I will send those big, bold, juicy emails before 10 a.m. Pacific time tomorrow morning which is approximately 11 hours from now. And I'm putting myself on the hook for being accountable to you that it gets done. And thank you so much for helping me hold myself to a standard of who I want to be in this world and how I want to operate. So the reality of it is that there is two separate uh, pieces of our mailing list and our audience that we want to send different messages to. And I was getting them muddled and confused in my head and I needed to map it out on a whiteboard to see it. And the act of declaring publicly and holding myself accountable publicly is very different than if I keep it internal to my team or in, in my own head. And that's actually part of the function of a mastermind group. And I was so inspired by the by our own group today that I just decided to do this. So with that, everyone, I want you to do the same thing. The thing that is 
confusing to you or that has felt overwhelming or you aren't sure how to do it and that's the reason you've been using to keep yourself where you've been, even when you have a really big, juicy, audacious goal that you want and you're really burn for that, but you have a thing that's consistently been falling off your list that you know would move you in that direction, this is me calling you out. This is my invitation for you to join me and put something in the comments. Put put it in play with a friend, however you do it, to get yourself accountable, to get that done so that you can actually live the life that you are intending and meant to live. Okay, so I'll be back with our next episode. I've got a couple emails to write. This is Amy Wenslow. You have just listened to the Product Business Podcast with me, your host, Amy Wenslow. Subscribe, review, and share our podcast on Apple iTunes, Podcasts, or Google Play. Until next time.